Oh, hello there, and welcome to the latest episode of What Did I Miss? I've been at a lake, so I probably missed a lot, but you know who hasn't? My friend, Julie Stewart Banks, who is also fresh off the COVID, I don't even know what we call it anymore, health and protocols. What, what? <laughs> you had the, ro- fresh you off were one of the last, know, like you, you put know, it off for I, a I really have- long time. You know what, Michelle? I'm I'm more sad that I got it because I was I was carrying it as a badge of honor. I was like, well, I guess my immune system's just a cut above. Or ha ha ha! Look at all the places I've been. I went to Orlando eight straight weeks. Went to the Olympics in Japan. I went to yeah. basically Florida for five hundred times and never got it. Boyfriend had it. All my friends had it. I was like, I guess I just have something else in me. <laughs> That protect some other worst thing that protects me uh, from COVID, and then it was like covering Leafs bolts round one of the NHL playoffs, and which, by the way, I worked so hard to make sure I didn't get COVID before. I like, know it was, my birth- it was my birthday, and I canceled my birthday plans because I was like, I'm not getting COVID to ruin this like one opportunity. Then when I was at the rink in Toronto, like I was the only one. You have to wear uh, masks around players. We'll get to that. And we'll get to that. Oh, okay. Second. But yeah, I was like, I want to, I, I was like masked. I was like away from people. Like everyone's in scrums, right? Because they protect the players, but there's still like media like crawling oh, all over right. each other. And I was like, no, no, because Ew. you have to, cr- you have to um, test in can- to get into the United States. Surprisingly, that's the biggest surprise. I think everyone would think you have to test to get into the U.S., not into Canada. So I was like, I don't want this to ruin my opportunities on games three and four. And then I, 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 the signs were there. I was like, oh man, I, I'm pretty gassed. Like, I think I need a Pedialyte. Like, I'm just going to like go to bed early. Like, no, you had COVID, you idiot. And I luckily, because <laughs> I am such a, I'm such a, um, obsessive mask wearer and yes. follower of the rules that I protect, uh, the NHL said they were very happy and I protected a lot of people. But I remember thinking, like, after morning skate for game five, I was like, I'm going to go get some chloroseptic. Like, my throat hurts. And I was like, Uh maybe you might have COVID. And then uh, this was the kicker, Michelle. I Game five was in Toronto. ESPN had it. I was, like, not – we were just there to, like, watch it. Yeah. And I remember being like, maybe I could just watch it from my hotel room and, like, not go to the game. And I was like – it's a fucking oh, a playoff sign. game in your city. I was like, yeah. you got COVID. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Something's wrong. It's the beginning of it. It's yeah. for sure. So it took you know the what, test though? and it was like, boom, red lines were just like. Oh, it's whoosh. it's such a like, it's, it's, it's almost like, okay, now I know what it is. I'm going to just deal with it. I'm going to sleep a bunch. And, yeah. and you were in a, I hope you were in a nice hotel. Like that would suck to be stuck in it. I was. I, had I, I was going to say you had to be. A- <laughs> I had been upgraded to a King Deluxe by like, cause I'd, I've stayed in this hotel like 500 times this month for whatever reason. My friend got married there, then I was back and whatever. And oh, then perfect. they called me, the hotel called me and they're like, hey, so we heard you're extending your stay. So um, we're going to have to move you to like a different room. And I was like, do you know why I'm staying? They're like, no. I'm like, I tested positive for COVID. They're like, do not leave your room. You're not, you're not <laughs> leaving the King Deluxe. I was like, okay, I'll stay in this King Shoot, Deluxe. Shoot, note to self, going to be using that at least 20 years from now still. I'm like, do you know why I need to be yeah, staying just, in this room? <laughs> yeah, I, I need to be staying in this like junior penthouse suite because I have COVID. Um, Wait, and I okay, mean, I do we have were, to ask that. I want to ask that yeah. one thing because I was watching, like I, I, as I'm watching the NBA games, obviously, I'm noticing sort of a pattern of some masks, some not it's so much so that I had almost forgotten about masks. And then I started no- so yeah. seeing more and more. Yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. But you're saying you guys, you have to wear them. So what, how does it work? Yes. Who has to yes. wear what? Yeah. So it's like, if you're around the players or in and around like the hallways or anytime there's a press conference too, masks huh. go on. Like even in Toronto, it would be like before Sheldon Keith or like anyone Tampa, not as much. I mean, not surprising. <laughs> But, like, in Toronto, like, the PR person would come in and be, like, basically, like, the teacher. Like, okay, everybody, masks on before That's any funny. of the players came in. Okay. Um, Are and the I players already, wearing like, them? Mine was already, no. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So everyone was kind of like, what, me? But whatever, I don't care. They're the players. They can do, yeah. they can do whatever the fuck they want. Um, I just didn't know who had to wear what. I know. And so I had, uh, mine was like glued to my face. Like people didn't even know what I looked like anymore. They were just like, that's Bane, I guess, over there who just doesn't take their mask (laughs) off. There's that lady that no one knows. I love masks, but that's a different story. Um, But then um, when you interview the players, like you have to wear them. And so I'm, 
I remember people being like, why are you wearing a mask? Dan, 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 I can't, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I got COVID. So now Austin Matthews, because I wore a mask and he also didn't get test positive, and Victor Hedman and Steven Stamkos and Corey Perry and Morgan Riley and all your fucking favorite players <laughs> are now not in COVID protocol because I wore a goddamn mask. Yeah. Would you rather them not play? Like, I also don't know if, like, I mean, my masks are great, but, like, I don't know if that, like, saved the world. Yeah, but, but you've been good about it. You've been one of the best people I know personally that's been, like, super good about it. By the way, I also just don't understand people who, who cares if you want to wear I I don't care if 27 years from now you still want to wear one. Who cares? Like, why does it bother anybody I else? Know. But it's, also you're a hero. So, I mean, I hope they realize that. I think it's time. I think it's time right. that we... um. Well, basically, I stopped talking about NBA at all because you're here for hockey time. Okay, talk to me. I The Battle of Alberta. I'm going to show you what little or how much I know. You might be surprised. You might not be surprised at all. What is it? Talk to me about this battle. Oh, oh gosh. Well, I don't know if you saw the first game, but all you need to know, Beetle, is that the score ended 6-9. Okay? Good. Game one. Which is just... Chef's kiss on a perfect it's rivalry. So many goals. Um, wow. Yes, so many goals. And it was okay, so it's basically like if you are going to a family dinner and you have, it's like Thanksgiving and then your cousins from like out of town come and you like don't like them, like maybe they're mm. like anti vax or something and you're like <laughs> not, but actually probably in Alberta you all are. Um, and you just like hate one another, right? Hate. This is like this rivalry. The, this is all these people have, other than their yes. CFL teams. And let's be honest, that, mm. well, that's great for them. But, like, I lived out in Regina, Saskatchewan. I love Regina. North Dakota. And lo- yeah. yeah. I love Is it near Moose Jaw at all? Americans. Is it, is it, yeah. It is. It is. It, okay. Yeah, okay. Michelle. That's the home of Ryan it. Anderson, former Austin Ice Bat. No big deal. Just throwing out some knowledge. Hey, what's up? Wow. Uh, <laughs> just, like, just kidding. Let's talk about people from Moose Jaw on this show. Um, <laughs> I just love saying it. Um, the battle. Okay. They, yeah. But then Alberta, I mean, it's like wow. these teams, they, they, you grow up in one of these cities and like you just hate the other one, right? Gotcha. So they battle one another. It was like game one was a banana, a literal banana sandwich. Like the Flames <laughs> scored three goals so quickly. They scored Damn. two goals within 57 seconds or 52 seconds, which is like the first time that's ever fastest scoring in history. And then it was like change goalies. Oh, and God. then Edmonton scores like a whole bunch of goals. And at one point they were tied 6-6. Six, six, and then it ended up 9-6. Football six, And it was just like, yeah, that yeah, that was like the um, uh, Patriots-Rams, whatever. Yeah, that's insane. Super Bowl. Um, Do you think a lot of beer was like, consumed during this game or no? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you know what also <laughs> is great about these cities is, is the 50-50 draws. I don't know. If you ever see that in oh. a lot of American cities, yeah, baseball does it. You a lot. you like I know you like the I know you like I the the lottos. Mama likes 50, to gamble. Fifty fifties, fifty fifties are super underrated. So they it will go up to like I, I got to check what last night's was. It'll go up to like six million dollars. I'm sorry, and you'll just be what? sitting there and you buy like a fifty fifty ticket and you walk home with three million dollars. Like people, oh, that's win a whole different these, world. Yes. So when I covered um, the Anaheim Ducks and we would go to Canadian cities, it would be like, who's got the 50-50s covered? Like, everyone in the oh, broadcast was yeah. like, we've got to get our 50-50s. So, yeah, because yeah, usually it's uh, like Battle 10 Alberta grand. Is, Damn. Yeah, no. Who's going to win like, that, by the way? like life-changing money. Um, that's they'll just like, call yeah. out the numbers and you're like, yeah, I won Oh, yeah, this. that's different. Um, but it's like kind of like college towns in a way. It would be like... Maybe a ba- not not like a Bama Auburn, but but places where like this is their mm. this is this, is, this is their bread and butter, and that right. no one else around really would care. But like to them, this is like I mean I Canada that. likes it because it's Canadian. So um, I want to go to it. I want to just like be there. I for, do it's too like, now. Super chaotic, chaotic. I want chaos. But it's like nice. I mean, it's Canadian still, so I feel like I'm not going to be scared. Whereas I would be like, I don't know. That's where like the freedom convoy kind of like originated from to get to really get into politics with a sports podcast, you know? Let me ask you this. um, If you, (laughs) I put, I put money on Edmonton Oilers in November because I was in Vegas and I just randomly put money on basketball and hockey playoffs. Um, Do I have a shot at all of winning some random? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, any, any 
team that Connor McDavid's on, I'm put I would put money on there. And okay, the fact well, that they like that. came back after being down and they scored they scored six goals and lost. Six like six goals. Just try not to allow nine and like yeah. you'll be pretty decent. I could see them. I mean, man, all the series are so different and weird and they all have their own identity. But I would love to see Edmonton, like New York in a final or mm -hmm. like Tampa going for a third. But I'd love to see Edmonton, New York, because it's like just two fan bases that are just like psh, so intense on, on one another. And it would be <laughs> very different. Like I look at cities I would want to go to for the Stanley Cup, like probably I already live in New York. Like I don't need to go to Edmonton yeah. ever again. But like. I think that that would be a great matchup. So I think you did a good job. I put money on the Rangers to win. Okay. But after so last night, I'm like, I don't know. I'm not really so sure about that. You don't know. Can I ask you a question about your, your hometown team, Toronto? Um, I don't understand. Like, is that an actual curse to not win a playoff series for that many? How many years is it exactly? Like almost 18. Two, yeah. Two decades. I was gonna say. How, that's a curse, right? Like we are now entering sort of, Chicago the Cubs. Thing is, well, they haven't won a cup since '67, so we're so definitely cursed. Cups. Yeah. yeah. So, but like, cursed, not even a playoff but, series. Okay, but I want just I want to have this disclaimer of like every series has been so different. Like this one, and you <laughs> know, 18. I'll be the first one to <laughs> go on. Yes. Sorry, it, all of the series have been very different in the 18 sure. years, including many of those years where they weren't in the playoffs. That counts, um, but. But the the losses to like Boston, which literally haunt me like forever and ever and always, and then last year to Montreal, like Oof. also will haunt me forever. But this year was different because they were playing the Stanley def two time defending Stanley Cup champions, okay, who fine. are very 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 good, and like they were there <laughs> with them the entire way. So many penalties, my God! The first couple games, it was just like. Oh, there's just like, there was no flow to any of the games. So it was so hard to get into it. But then like one bounce here or there and they could have won the series and then everything's like completely different. But it's just because no one in Toronto can just look at this series for what it was, where it was like, wow, you went toe to toe with the defending Stanley Cup champs. It's like, oh, blow it up. We got to <laughs> change the name of the team, send them out to That's... Nowheresville and fire everybody. And it's like, no, like, is that going to help? I don't think so because you got pretty far and like these guys are very, very good. They're just, I, oh. I just think I would stay the course. Like I'm like, you know, and I, I cried last year um, <laughs> when they lost and I cried every year, like, like grown woman tears I, I are get really it. sad. I've been there. Grown woman there. tears are real sad. Because you but realize Michelle, what you're crying you, about. It's silly. Yeah. And, and also it brings your whole life into perspective where you're like, wow, this is just, I just feel bad for like, <laughs> fans that have been waiting for so long and then they put yes. so much of their personal happiness into it and you're like this really Thank sucks you. and I will say like because I covered that series for TNT and I was like I had first of all I was like why are you guys putting me on this series you know I'm from Toronto like I, I love that TikToks though talks about yeah. all this and they were like well you know the that's pulse why. of the city you know I was like wow that's like such a cool way to look at it so um but then in saying that like I couldn't do my normal bullshit of like making <laughs> Leafs TikToks and like doing all this weird oh, stuff. Right. To be like professional professionalism. Yeah. And so I actually, I actually wish I had been working game seven because I was supposed to, but I had the Rona um, because then it would have been so much easier to process because then you're just like, this is a game, right? Cause I have to think of it as a game. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in a hotel room Locked up in isolation, watching them lose a game seven, and I just was like, like I, I, I was just like, this fucking sucks. that does suck. Like, there's, there's no real no way like, around closure. it. Yeah, no, I feel I, I get it. It's I think well, you're being rational about how you don't want to blow everything up, whereas everybody else isn't. But I, it is hard as a as an outsider looking in. All you see is 18 years has a that's. That's just a daunting number years. to be a team that like the world knows, oh, right? Yeah. Like it's not like some yeah. rando team. That there, no one's ever listen, heard of. there were a lot of bad years there where it was like, okay, you know, some really bad contracts. Like that makes sense. I heard back in the day, it was like they signed Jeff Finger, thinking it was uh, thinking he was John um, Michael Lyles. I'm like, how does that even happen? Like, I'm sorry, like like literally thought he was someone else, or just thought he played like someone else. 
<laughs> they thought they were signing someone else. I was like, that's that's that's, that's my fan base. That that's my awesome. team, baby. You thought you were signing, but now it's like you do have a lot of good players. But what I hate <laughs> are like the, the financy bros, the bros that think they know everything. I they're my friends. They message me and will be like it starts from ownership and they've got to blow it up and all they care about is money and not cups. Well, like, they're going to make money regardless. It's Toronto. Right. And then they'll be like, this guy's got to go. This guy's got to go. And I just like actually just stop responding to these dudes that call. I know. Cause I'm like, just go fuck yourselves. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not engaging in this because no matter what I say. And if I'm like, Hey, I'm here. I'm like covering it. I'm a sports journalist. I think you're wrong. Okay. And they'll be like, you don't know anything. And it's like, I'm not getting into it. So it's like you started Finance this conversation, bros. Chad. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, Rangers. I do have friends that are Rangers fans and I, I, yeah, I can feel their emotions um, from day to day. Is that other than the battle of Alberta? Do you like that series? Is that an exciting series to get into? Mm-hmm. Like if I, if you're a new hockey person, should I be watching that or no? Um, game one was like, Okay, think of it as you have like the boomers versus Gen Z. And okay. Gen Z is like, we were wearing flares. And boomers are like, yo, we fucking invented flares. Like, Got you it. can't just come along here. So Carolina is very much like the new guard of like, we're fun. We're flashy. We have like the whatever, the storm surge. And we're a hockey town. Oh. And then Rangers are like, Yo, no, we're a fucking hockey town. Yeah, like this is like town. original six bullshit. You know, we we want it, and so you kind of have this like weird dichotomy. But this is Carolina's really really good. They pressure four check. They just smother you. And the Rangers in the in the first game were really really good at dealing with that for two periods, and then it was like uh, they kind of just decided a uh, we're just going to defend, and then then Carolina was like boom, and so that. A series. My boyfriend is a big Rangers fan. Pretty tough um, to be around him right now because I'm he's sure. like, yeah, we have tickets to Game Three, and I'm like debating just like getting someone else to go with him because I'm like I don't know if I can like sit beside this person. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not gonna be that fun. If, unless it's gonna be unless it's gonna be a blowout for the Rangers. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like it so could I would, be amazing. Yeah. Don't don't blow that. Yeah, no, don't no, that, it no. could. They got to get one. They got to get one. Um, but but that takes a lot of life out of you. It's like, would you rather a blowout loss or would you rather a tight loss where you almost won? I would uh, rather a blowout loss. God, it. I don't know. No, because blowout losses tight like loss. well, for example, NBA playoffs this week, the last two nights, they've been not very fun games to watch. Like to the point where I changed the channel. I didn't even finish two. You're telling me I'm not going to finish two conference uh, games like. No, nah, normally that's not the case, but when they're blowouts, it's just bleh. And I get it, like if your yeah. team's in it, but at least if you're in it till the last se- I mean, it's heartbreaking regardless, but I'd rather be in it till the last second. It sucks either then way. doesn't that take does so much out, out of you? Yeah, but... You're like you're so close and then you're like, oh my God, we were so close and we like didn't get yeah. it done. We're like, oh my God, we almost won and it just got taken away. No, it's because like, I think it's uh, worse to get your hat, your ass handed to you because then you're just like, what have I even been cheering for all season? Like, who is this team? And then you're just confused about what what am I looking at? I don't even know who I'm rooting for. What am I, like, what, 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 what is this? What, is this? <laughs> what, what am I doing with my life? Because like, that's what I feel like teams do. Like, I, you know, you're looking at, if you're a Mavericks fan this morning, you're like, the hell was that? Like, what is that? So I, yeah, I, I think I'd rather. You and I are living in, in completely different universes because I know I haven't watched one lick of basketball since the Raptors were out. Um, oh God, that was a long ago. time ago. Yeah, that was that was a minute. You've been gone a minute. And Same here, and I've watched no hockey. I'll watch hockey. I'll watch the uh, I'll watch the end of it. That's usually what you I'm and I. Doing. Yeah, I'll watch the end of it. <laughs> You okay, and we'll I watch, are, we'll, are like, we'll watch each other's two finals. Two different paths, <laughs> and then we'll be like, oh, and this is what happened. Like when you're like. Yeah, what, you know, what happened in this and this? I'm like, no, you tell me what happened in that. Right? I will. No, we're going to keep each other apprised of either. By the way, so you yes, are true. you sticking with your Edmonton and New York? Like, those are the best two cities that you'd like to see in the final? Is that your, that's the thing. I'm based on Based cities. on cities. Okay, so that's, we're doing that. Edmonton? So in the West, you tell me in the West. We've okay. got, we've got Edmonton, Calgary, uh, St. Louis, and Colorado. That's mm. in the west. And then the east, okay. we got Tampa, Florida, Sunrise, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, Two of them. Jeez. New York and Carolina. Oof. 
I can count. I have fingers. I mean, look, if I was look, if I was living in Texas as I am, and I had to go cover a finals, I think I would like a New York. I mean, I like Denver. Denver's nice. Denver's good. Right? Denver's good I don't want to go to St. Louis. No offense, St. Louis, but you're really no, humid. No. Um, and I've never been to Edmonton. So, all so maybe I do that. Yeah. Maybe I do that. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. I'm glad America Edmonton now knows Edmonton Calgary can be a time. They can be a time for sure. But uh, <laughs> just knock it off the got, list. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. Oh, your dollar can go. Your dollar can go further there. Let me tell you. That yeah. seems unlikely considering the dollar's <laughs> garbage. But yeah, no, I, I like <laughs> I'll take your Canadian word Canadian dollars it. worse. Yeah. <laughs> How can this? Um, all right. So we got it. Okay. I might win money. You might win money. We might all win money. Nah, and then you and I are going to, we're going to do, I'll do cliff notes for you as we enter the NBA finals. And then you yeah, yeah, do some yeah. cliff notes. And then we're going to be back on top. Okay. okay. And I'm going to bet, nice. I'm going to bet in the NBA finals too. Whenever. Okay. Yeah. No, do it. I have Golden State okay. and Boston. So I might win something. Oh. Who the hell knows? Well, then, yeah. You're I also okay. might not win I, anything. Okay, we're taking a break because I know Probably Paige. Won't. I know Paige is just sitting there going like this because she wants to share yeah. crap with us, and she's got to redeem herself from the other day. So we'll be right back. Paying down debt can be stressful, especially when you need to keep track of multiple monthly payment dates. If you're tired of juggling due dates, consolidating with a personal loan could be your answer. That way you'll have just one due date a month and Credit Karma can help you find the best option for you. Credit Karma uses your credit data to find loan offers that are personalized to you so you can have a better idea of what loan amount you can get approved for. Credit Karma will even show you your chances of approval so you can choose between loan offers that you're more likely to get approved for and apply with more confidence. Comparing loan offers on Credit Karma is 100% free, won't affect your credit scores, and could save you money. Credit Karma, apply with more confidence today. You ready to apply? Head to creditkarma.com loan offers to see personalized offers. Go to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to find the loan for you. That's creditkarma.com slash loan offers. With Sling TV, there's a world of entertainment at your fingertips. The only question is, what will you choose? Sports? Yep, Sling has live sports. College and professional basketball, football, baseball, hockey, soccer, golf, racing, and more. But let's say you're more of a reality TV person. With Sling, you can get your daily dose of gossip with the hottest reality shows on channels like TLC, Bravo, MTV, and more. Or... Maybe you're looking for breaking news. Stream live broadcasts from MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, and other popular channels with Sling. There are also thousands of movies and shows on demand that you can pick from. Me, I like to put on a channel I love, like Comedy Central or HGTV, and just let it play all day. There's no end to the entertainment you'll find on Sling. It's easy to set up and easy to use. You can stream on any device and record up to 50 hours with included DVR space. Check out Sling.com for special offers. Sling, the live TV you love for a price you'll love. Try us today. Uh, welcome back. We are now joined by Paige, um, podcast extraordinaire. She is our boss, and she is also in charge of what else we mo- we missed. Did we miss anything, really? Though, did we? You did. I mean, she's you did. And okay, fine. Well, yeah. You guys just talked about how Julia's got the hockey and Beads has the NBA. So I have got the hoops. Uh, whatever else is rest. The rest. Okay, so <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> Wayne Gretzky jersey from the 88 Stanley Cup. By the way, these are mm. all Canada or Canada adjacent good, items. I did good. my best, Julie. Oh. Some of them are stretched, but I'll tell you why. So okay, obviously Wayne Gretzky, the great one, etc. Uh, his jersey from the 88 Stanley Cup sold for $400,000 in an auction. God bless America. Which athlete would you pay that amount of money for? Let's just say you had that lying around and ready to for a jersey spend it on. or for the yeah, athlete for, yeah, herself. For a jersey, jersey, or, or the actual yeah, human. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a different like, podcast. What does this entail? You know, jersey. Yeah, like we're not human trafficking. A jer- We're not okay. So we're not human. Tra- oh, well, then that okay. changes my answer. Um. Okay, so we're just, I have, let's do it this way. I have to spend, because otherwise I'm like, I'm, I'm yeah, not no, an asshole. You, I'm not spending any You have been okay. gifted $400,000 I have to do it. from your rich just uncle you never knew about who specifically requires you to spend it on an athlete's jersey. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, okay. Yep. All right, Julie, what do you got? That's tough. Mm-hmm. But, um, I mean, the obvious answer for um, me is Michael Jordan, but that's too easy. So I think it's got to be right. somebody else. I would, okay, so, like, if you get $400,000, like, I want, like, a game-worn, like, s- not signed, because that looks super 
maybe not game worn. I don't know. I want like a really, really maybe impressive okay. Doug Gilmore jersey. Like I want Doug Gilmore jersey, LA King series, like worn wrap around. I want, I want it that because the thing is, is like, I, I love spending money. I will go on right now and buy like a jersey. <laughs> and so that's why really? I'm like, it needs to have some. No, I won't go on and buy a jersey, but I'm going to go on and buy a phone case right after this. So okay, like, I was going to say, love, like, I, I like to spend shopping. money, but not on a jersey. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not buying a jersey. No. Um, I have a Maurice Rocket Richard hockey stick signed. Is that worth anything? See, that's that's cool. Yeah, yeah. There I you go. Henrik Boom. Lundqvist it, signed Paige. sticks. Oh, he's right the hottest there. one, right? He's the prettiest boy ever. Yeah. Linda Henrik Cohn and Lundqvist I used to talk about that. To yeah. my boyfriend yeah. for his birthday. Oh, look. oh, it is right there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's right. a good gift. That's yeah. a great gift, actually. See, we've done I well. It. I didn't All really spend All gifts but. have gone downhill from there. Yeah, I, I think. Know, Paige, um, would you spend four hundred thousand right? dollars on a jersey? Absolutely not. But again, hypothetical. You have to. Okay, fine, Paige. You have to. I'm going like. I, I was also going to say Jordan, but I want like the game worn from an iconic shot. Like I need something that has like the oh, moment attached okay, yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's got, oh, exactly. No, it has to be something. It can't just okay, be like, basketball, oh, wore this. Kawhi's shot. Kawhi's shot oh, against Oh, that's a Philly. good one. The, that's a good boom, one. Boom, oh. boom, boom. But As a San Antonio look. Spurs fan, I obviously would never buy a Kawhi jersey, but I totally understand why you would. <laughs> I forgot. You could, a, well, but I again, mean, you, you have for this life. money. You could buy it to then and like, set it on destroy fire. it. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. sounds like you. you buy it actually. and then That's resell it for more. <laughs> and that looked like a genius then. She That's spent right. a half billy on that That's and then burned right. it. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, isn't that how YouTubers get famous? They just do stupid yeah. shit like that all day. Okay, fair enough. All right. Yep. Okay, what else you got? Okay, this one's a stretch, so stick with me. Uh, how this is related to Canada is that the Canadian women's soccer team won the Olympic gold medal, which I would say typically is something that the U.S. team wins, which ties into this story because yesterday it was announced that U.S. soccer has finally agreed for equal pay for the men's and women's U.S. teams, including the equalization yeah. of World Cup prize money. Yeah. Just That's, a quick... Yeah. Finally, that's great. I feel like I get these notifications every like two months of like they've agreed that they're gonna pay the same, oh, and then it's like, there must okay, have been some puppy agreed. kicking going on behind closed doors. Men are mad. Oh yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> so I I love those women because they're like when I covered them sometimes back in my soccer days, I I they were just like these demigods like walk around. Oh, I was like, oh my god, these love they're it. like the coolest. Like they're just like so cool. I remember Megan Rapino, like, and Ashlyn Harris, like, talking to me and in around me, and I was like, "Oh my These god!" Like, I'm, I don't know how to talk to you. Like, <laughs> you guys are the cool girls at school. They're so cool. Um, yeah. and the fact that they, they, the, all of them went to bat and did this, and it's like they so had odd to. to be doing this against your own federation, and yet mm -hmm. completely like, predictable. Yeah, I did for Halloween. I dressed up as Megan Rapino two years ago, and I did the like whatever her thing that Trump like. Hated. Oh yeah, and at the World Cup, and uh, I said for Halloween I'm going as underpaid, and <laughs> it, well, it that, that just goes so. It landed really well, but not with U.S. soccer. Let's just say we have not spoken since that post. I was I like. Mean... Well, maybe I mean, this I'm is correct. Back. This is a the exact. Sometimes the truth hurts more than it should. Um, but yeah, the the never hurts. has there been an easier argument. Like there has never in the history of gender equality been an easier win, as far as I'm concerned. Like there was no argument Agreed. to not do this. You want to have the argument in college and everywhere? Fine, I'll entertain that because of the different dynamics. But this one, no. Never. Yeah, this one is this one's pretty black and white, literally. Yeah. That one was easy. If anything, I should get a raise over. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to go too yeah, far. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Like, cool. um, <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like, oh, I'd watch women's. I haven't watched men's. Yeah. Because there's nothing to watch. Uh, Paige, what else? Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't want to get bitchy. I'm so sorry. The Men's World Cup is this year. Oh, thank okay. you. Yeah, and guess Thanks what? Tips. Canada is going to it <laughs> yeah, for the are. first time in my lifetime. Oh, see, that'll be fun. Oh, I didn't know that. that. <clears throat> yep. Oh. Uh, it's been 36 years. Damn. And they um they look pretty good. <laughs> There's and there you go. There's your Canadian soccer hot tip. They look pretty <laughs> good. 
And that's either going to go real well for them or they're just going to be like completely have no idea how to Just deal happy with to be it. there. Just happy to be there, Jules. Why not just both? Happy to be there. Why not both? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think it could work well. Okay. This one's more obviously Canadia, Canadia? Canada. Canada? Canada? Yeah, like Canada. Related. Canada related uh, because it's hockey. So, Julie, <laughs> I'm going to need a little bit of help here. But from what I can gather, our guy, Braden Shen, took a penalty late in the third period, sat down the penalty box. And then from all everything that I've seen had just beat the shit out of the camera. Has that ever happened before? <laughs> yes. That's happened before. They that's don't like, protect. It seems like they could maybe anticipate that someone's going to be angry been, in the penalty box. If you box. Like go online, I feel like there's like highlight reels of just like players like destroying the penalty box camera. Damn. Slash also, you have to also see Ty Domi go Ooh. in basically like rip down like the glass and like beat a guy essentially oh who's God. i forget classic oh, tie domi water at him oh well yeah classic, he classic that. tie domi that's classic tie it really is some to- guy yelling at chirping at him so he's i'm <laughs> really bad at explaining stuff like drunk i am drunk history like every day <laughs> i like trying it. to explain Great show my my psychiatrist is a big harry potter fan and i was like trying to explain a scene in harry potter to him <laughs> because that's what you talk about with your psychiatrist i was gonna say i don't know if i and want I my psychiatrist to do that Okay, go on. I could see him like almost like, like he was like mad that like I just did, I wasn't explaining it properly. Like he knew, because I was like, oh yeah, when Harry's like, you know, has to get the Dementor, but it's like he's going back in time and he's going forward. And then he's like, oh, he thought it was his dad. And then, but it was actually him. And I could see him just being like, oh my God, Julie, like you, you, you fucked this up so bad. (laughs) Exactly. You're going to give him, he's my life therapist. Poor, okay, wait. He's like, what happens to the camera, by the way? Like, do we just? That's that it? was my question. Is They're it just dead camera? And then do they? Is it like an additional fine? Because somebody have to pay for it or equipment? Uh yeah, they might. They, I think That's it might cheap. just be like part of the the biz, like <laughs> the show. Yeah, it's I just would, it's just part of the wear and tear of the game. It's like okay, you know, you're in you're in the line of fire, but yeah, I'm sure that Damn. the Braden Shen or the NHL will pay for that camera. I feel okay. like they could again anticipate that box it. these guys are going to be like a little testy in the box and yeah, yeah. I find I it agree. weird them having the camera in there, but you can get some great stuff like back when like the Vancouver Canucks fans they were all dressed like the Green Men that were like just yeah. trying to annoy oh, like yeah. the Kings. And I was going to say, like, Paige, you can get some great it's not stuff in there. I think for for how many times they destroy a camera, it's probably worth the other times that you get stuff. Yeah. And you know I'm what? Pro Seeing camera, when they're out, but like, yeah. can you put like a like a shark cage over it or something? Yeah, right. You could box it or cage it a little bit. I mean, that would hurt. His I feel like that draws anyway. more attention to it because normally they would just not see it, but then as soon as they see it, oh. they're like, oh, you know, <laughs> like a dog. Get back to us on that. Okay. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody reach out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to skip one and, and go to my last. I know we're a little crunched for time here. Oh, so, okay. Once again, uh, tough c- tough to make this Canada, but I'm going to do it. Okay, I'll help you. All right. This is about Spencer Dinwiddie, and you might oh, be like, love. what does he have to do with Canada? He's not Canadian, and this is what I would offer you. Uh, <laughs> last year on the trade deadline, the Raptors were interested in him. So... There's your tie-in. But that's not what oh, this is that about. Counts. That. that counts. What it's about is no, that no, no, no. his original... I know, what, we can talk about that. But one, actually. his original contract with the Wizards, which has now carried him on, um, had a, some really interesting clauses in there. Uh, he gets a million five if he plays in more than 50 games. He gets Ooh. just over half a million dollars if the team makes the Eastern Conference Finals, 400K mm. if they make the NBA Finals, 100K if they make the second round. But the most interesting thing is that he gets $1, a $1 bonus if the team wins the title. So now that he's on the Mavs, if they win, he gets $1. What should he spend his $1 on? Ooh. That is... What the hell do you Why is it... Why? But how does that even begin in the first place? Because like contracts win, are get, so bizarre. Wait, so is that the only thing they care... Huh? Yeah, it's like some agent was just having a... Fun he was on the I mean, Wizards. The they they haven't nev- they haven't played in May in years and forever. Probably honestly, go get yourself like a cream soda out of a I don't know a vending. I don't even know today's economy. Like, I buy a lotto <laughs> ticket. I buy you're one like, lotto ticket. You- <laughs> yeah, you're not getting shit for a dollar other than a scratcher or a lotto ticket. 
Yeah, actually, those are two dollars. No, I got to get one dollar scratcher. That's it. Yep. That's all I can okay. get. Okay, yeah, we but go back to Lotto. Or I can turn bet? that into Some millions. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Or so you could just like... place that one dollar on. Some other kind of bet that would ma- could make that's you true actual money. I could I put you're a such dollar a down. Lotto gal, I love yeah. Lotto so much. I've already played this morning. Don't worry. I know you guys were going to ask. Um, or you go to a blackjack table think and about- put a dollar down. Let it ride. That's also true. Can turn Michelle, that into have something. Have you seen these people on TikTok that go buy all these like stacks and stacks and stacks of scratch and sniff? Not sniff. Whatever. Scratch. Scratch. Scratch offs. Scratch cards. <laughs> scratch and sniff. You scratch know. offs. And then what? And then they go and they they go they said, "Oh, we we spent $350 on all of these. Let's see how much money we made." And I'm like, and then they'll be like, "Click. That's my life." Like, next video I do that all the time. And I was like, "This is this is like I want to see how much money they're going to make off of this spending 350 bucks, right?" What a great like I mean, idea. You just go that's buy That's what I do in my own life. I just bucks. don't record it. Why can't I do that literally once a week? I spend like 300 sure, bucks and then I'm like, yeah, but that's just so Recorded. weird. Who thought that was a good yes, idea? Yes, thank you, Julie. No, people, this, no you don't want to. You don't want to see Julian. me scratching. The whole reason like, we no, secretly people, had Julie on is not hockey, but to help me convince Beetle to get on TikTok. TikTok. Welcome to the team, oh, Julie. Yeah, Jerome and I have been talking about this for months. I'm going on the TikTok. You got to get on TikTok. <laughs> Once you get yeah, on, I'm, you're gonna be oh he is. I do so many like Monday no other, things, my friend. I mean, I know, and that's probably why I've avoided it because I know that I know it will get me, and I don't no, want to be gotten. No, but it's so great. We'll it get gets, you there. It's, you, it's adds to well, now that I know that China has TikTok all our Tony. biometrics because of it. Exactly. So that's my. And guess who they don't me. have? This guy. They don't have me. Yeah. I'm still sliding under well, the radar. <laughs> I'll just I'll put you on TikTok. I'll be like, this is Michelle. In my Damn it. <laughs> they got me Hell anyways. Yeah. They tried to avoid the whole thing. They have they have full they have full all of us. Like yeah. my yeah. brother who works at, at Meta um said that TikTok oh. has all our biometrics if you're on there. If you've ever put your they know you. They have a yeah, good job, guys. system. I've been telling my friends that. Stop doing that. Stop giving the world everything. But hey, y'all just do you. I'm gonna be living they off the grid have here all our soon. Shit anyway. I know. Seems who like a kidding? good time to take a break. All right, fine. Let's take a break so Paige can eliminate her TikTok. <laughs> now, I've always been a fan of Stance socks. How can you not love them? They're versatile, colorful, and they make for great gifts too. But did you hear that now Stance is expanding outside of just the socks game? They now have a full active apparel line. Their new products include sweatpants, joggers, hoodies, and more. And the best part about it? All of the clothing has stayed true to Stance's unique quality. So if you've enjoyed the comfort and creativity of Stance in the past, you're not going to believe what all Stance has in store for them now. Not just socks anymore. They're bringing color, comfort, and creativity from toe to head with the launch of an all-new active apparel line. That's right. What started out as a radical reinvention of your sock drawer is now expanding to your entire wardrobe. Check out Stance's super soft line of sweatpants and joggers, shirts, hoodies, hats, and more. Now available in a full range of fits, prints, fabrics, and fun. Embrace a life of superior comfort and creative expression with everyday active apparel that truly is stitch different. Stance's philosophy is that you should never have have to sacrifice your own individual style for the sake of comfort and now you don't have to whether you're relaxing around the house working out at the gym or running all over town stance now delivers its signature softness and creativity in a full line of active apparel styles from toe to head stance has got you covered head on over to stance.com get 15 percent off your first purchase use promo code beetle at checkout to apply enjoy the color and comfort of a life less ordinary with stance stitch different Everyone wants a beautiful lawn without all those harsh chemicals. This year, I'm using Sunday. Does your lawn have weeds, bare patches, or pet spots? Sunday can help you solve all these problems and more the easy way. They've got everything you need from fertilizer to seeds to weed control, and it's all delivered right to your door. Your yard is your personal oasis. It deserves the best. Sunday helps you grow a beautiful lawn, control pests, and fight weeds without the toxic stuff. Sunday's custom lawn care is effective and super easy. Just go to GetSunday.com, put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. They use soil and climate data to create a personal nutrient plan delivered to your door right when you need it. Sunday's lawn care products are made with your family in mind. That's why they use ingredients you can feel good about, like seaweed, iron, and molasses. The best part, it really works. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $129. And you can get 20% off at checkout when you visit GetSunday.com slash Beetle. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash Beetle. We are back. Uh, Paige 
Paige promised us she had us a, a whopper and a doozy for our brains to wrap yes, this bad I boy do. up. Yes, I do. So we got another would you rather. Um, I had just I had a lot these. of fun last week these. researching them. So I just keep tabbing them as I see them. Okay. Thank you. I thought this one was pretty difficult. Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life <laughs> at random intervals? Ooh. Okay. For like a minimum of a minimum of like an hour. Or Each time it's an hour. Constantly oh feel like you have to sneeze. Ooh. Oh, but never actually sneeze. Oh, that's tough. that's right. Oh, oh that's wow. So hiccups for an hour at a time, randomly. Well, sneezes are like basically orgasms, right? So I mean, that's why I love sneezes. I think, but that's that, but you don't get to sneeze. sneeze. It's just it's the built the <gasps> and then it's gone. You got blue. You got blue balls, basically. So yeah, that's right. I don't know if that's a good one. Facial. Yeah, blue. So that's right. I don't mind hiccups, but to be honest with you. They're funny. Yeah, they're funny yeah. to me. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I've got to go hiccups. I got to go I think hiccups. I, do too. I don't think I can walk okay. around feeling like that. Not I satisfied. Like, that, like, yeah. like a dude would be all day, every day. Most dudes. You have hiccups yeah. every Incels. day for the rest of your life. Yeah, but like, I don't mind them. You just turn it into something. You're like, hey, there's the hiccup girl, and then you make it a party thing. I don't know, because there's no way I'm Yeah, doing yeah, the make one. it a party thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> make it Ever the performers. Other than being like all the time like, is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> or if you got used to it and you just were always in this like kind of uh, Yeah, that's of the other thing. Whatever. The, the almost like your eyes sneeze face. watering all the time. <laughs> yeah, everything. It would just be a hot ass. Mess. Plus you're like makeup. You know, and, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I hate that feeling when you're almost about to sneeze and it's like. It's coming, and then it just goes back, and you're like, "No, it's so it's unsatisfying." Done. Exactly, because <laughs> you're like, "Hold on, hold on." Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hiccups, easy. That one's easy. Done. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? You got us. That's it. That's the one. I want you to mark those That's forever it. because I love would you rather's. They're so fun, Julie. Where can would anybody you find you? Are so great. They're my. I spend um, hours doing this. I don't even. I don't even know, guys. Um, you can find me on <laughs> TikTok plug. at JSB. Yeah, you know yes. me. And um, Instagram, Julie SB underscore. Decided to change. Every platform has a different name, so you can have it's fun good. finding I know, it. And I then know. JSB underscore TV on Twitter. And I'm just doing, I'm just living life. Every day is a new day. And <laughs> and my, that's, how we're, that's how we're going. Blessings. That is the most positive but negative sounding thing I've ever heard in my whole life. I like the, I just, the, uh, I, the delivery I of something. I strap else. in on the roller coaster of life and I just let her ride and see wow. where she goes. So. I'm just waiting to go back to sleep. That's my whole life. That's my motto. Waiting for my next nap. That's me. Ooh, uh, that oh, you can find good? us here because you already found us. 631-397-0403. If you want to send us pictures or TikTok recommendations or if you have a good would you rather, we'd love to hear that. Pictures I mean, we're of always what? up for that. <laughs> exactly. Pictures of what? That's the million dollar question. Well, we did get a it up photo, to them. A photoshopped picture of Beetle doing some oh. gun shows. Oh, I was going to say, I was like, Photoshop doing what? <laughs> I'm not going to go yeah. anywhere. We saw it. Um, you saw it. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. No, I saw it. You sent it to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Like, I don't want to know that. That's it for us. We are out of here. Enjoy the hockey playoffs. Enjoy the NBA playoffs. Enjoy F1 this weekend. Enjoy it. Yes, baby. All. Julie, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy everything. Better. Thank you, guys. Yep. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Upward Love trajectory. Show. Right. Love the show. Love the show. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paige, you didn't Sorry, get fired today. Sorry, you guys today. have to go.